Welcome to The Long Run, Joel and Christy. I'm Joel. And I'm Christy. And what are we doing today? Uh, we are doing a try something new, actually for the second time, because the first time we tried it, we failed. Yep. Because we bought the wrong ingredient. Right. But the, now we're going to try again. All right, let's get to it. We're starting off with two tablespoons of avocado oil. It says to use canola oil, but we don't have that. Nope. So we're using avocado oil because we use what we have. Yep. All right, and we're just going to bring that up um, on medium high heat, and then we're going to add our chicken in. And we added our chicken in, and we're going to cook that for about three minutes, stirring occasionally. Okay, so we've uh, cooked the chicken for about three minutes. It's okay if it's not quite done because it's not done cooking yet. We've got plenty of cooking left. All right, and we needed two tablespoons of taco seasoning, and uh, we make homemade taco seasoning. We'll put the link to that down in the description so that you can check out that recipe um because it saves you money and you get to control how much salt is in it and other ingredients that you might want a little more control over in your diet so check that out and also at this point if you like onions you would put that in um we don't like the texture of onions so we're not putting it in and um there's onion powder in the taco seasoning, so we're good. We're good. Okay, so we're gonna stir this around for about two minutes. And now we're gonna add our black rinsed and drained, or drained and rinsed black beans. Cause you just drain it before you rinse it, not rinse it before you drain it. Anyway, our um, basically Rotel. In fact, this is a Rotel.com website uh, recipe, but you know, we went to Aldi, got the cheaper version. And one cup of water. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to bring this up to a boil, I think. Hold on. Yep, we're gonna bring that to a boil. Which is almost there already. Now it's boiling, now we're going to take one and a quarter of a cup of instant brown rice. That's where we made our mistake last time we tried this recipe, was we didn't buy instant. We just bought regular brown rice. So that was not a good idea because by the time it took to get the rice cooked, the chicken was dry. So you don't want to do that. You want to make sure that you get instant brown rice so that it doesn't take too long for this to cook. So now we've got it stirred in. We're going to reduce to a simmer and we're going to cover it. And it says it should take about seven to 10 minutes. Uh, we let it go for about 10 minutes and um, check to make sure the rice was tender. And now we're gonna add half of a cup of Monterey Jack and Cheddar Blend. And you know, that pro that probably was referring to like a bag that you buy in the store, but we don't buy shredded cheese. We do it ourselves. So we just shredded cheddar and Monterey and we're gonna stir that in half the cup. And we just want that to melt. Okay, it looks like it's melted, don't it? Yep. So now we take the rest of the cheese, the other half a cup, because we shredded a whole cup, and we're just going to sprinkle that on top. And then I guess when you eat it, like when you mix it together, the rest of the cheese will melt in there. I don't know, but that it doesn't say to like put a lid on it and let it melt or anything like that. Um, anyway, and then it just says to sprinkle with some cilantro. So we're just gonna do like that. And uh, that's the whole recipe. Okay, so it's time for us to do our little taste test. Hoping that this worked out better than the first time we tried. Like we said, it was our fault. We didn't read the instructions clearly and bought the wrong kind of brown rice. Yep. But we're like, while we were making this, we were not totally convinced that even this brown rice was the right way to go. We'll get into that in a minute after we taste this. Mm. 
No, I like the way it tastes. It's still a tad rubbery. Um, I don't know. We we don't eat with uh, brown rice a lot. We tend to stick with white. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we feel like it's a little rubbery. And y'all let us know down in the comments where. Um, <clears throat> if it's a little rubbery, have we overcooked it or undercooked it? Yep. But what we thought would have made this easier is we have a sausage and rice skillet recipe. We'll link, we did it as a live stream. We'll link it. But with that recipe, you buy the already cooked rice that's like in a bag and you put it in your microwave for like a couple minutes and you add it to the recipe to the end. That's perfectly done every time. Mm -hmm. So we wondered if that wouldn't have made it a little easier for us. Yeah, because we're not professional cooks. Yep. We're just trying to show you that, you know, maybe new recipes that you hadn't come across yet that might, you know, help bring some excitement to your meal plan. Yep. Uh, because <clears throat> trying new things helps opening it so you don't end up always eating the same thing all the time. So, so because we're not professional cooks, maybe sometimes we don't get things right. And this might be been that we didn't cook it the right amount of time. Either we cooked it too long or too short a period of time. And that microwavable <laughs> microwavable version would have made it so easy we would we probably would have not had any problem the first time if we'd had that in the recipe. So I don't know. But if y'all know like if you're used to using brown rice a lot, let us know. Did we overcook or undercook? Because it's just it's good, but it's slightly rubbery on the rice and yep. so like we said we don't know maybe we'll, maybe we overcooked it uh, or maybe we it. undercooked it yeah it said seven to ten minutes we did ten minutes so either we we did it too long or anyway yeah just you know if you know let us know yep but other than that i think the taste is pretty good on yeah. it so yeah i'll be willing to try that again mm -hmm. yep so don't forget, drop us a comment below and let us know uh, if we cook the brown rice correctly or, or if not, or how it's supposed to taste and let us know that. Uh, any recipes you'd like for us to try or uh, if you've tried any that, um, that we've done, let us know that. Also, it's up on the gram at Long Run Joel and Chrissy. And um, you can see, let's give some comments over there about some recipes you've tried. And we yep, try tag us well. and post. Yep, mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, don't forget to like, Subscribe and hit that notifications bell for updates when we upload new videos on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, sometimes on the weekend, sometimes yep. in between. Mm -hmm. You just kind of never know when we're going to drop one in there. Yep. But with that said, that's going to do it today for the long run with Joel and Chrissy. I'm Joel. And I'm Christy. And don't forget the long run. Do yourself a little grace. Bye.